Gaza and Ferguson have to do with one another? If you ask the black and Palestinian artists and activists who've just released a new solidarity video, a lot. Prominent figures like Miss Lauren Hill, Danny Glover, and Alice Walker came together in this three minute video with one strong message. When I see them, I see us. Harassed, beaten, tortured, dehumanized. Stopped and frisked, searched at checkpoints. Administrative detention, youth incarceration. The poem highlights the similarities and the violence and struggles faced by both communities. Palestinian legal scholar and organizer Noura Arikat got the idea for the video during the summer of 2014 when Gaza was being bombed and Ferguson erupted in protests after the police killing of unarmed 18-year-old Michael Brown. I asked her what's the significance of solidarity between black Americans and Palestinians. The point is not to compare oppressions. Blacks the world over have suffered from a legacy of racism much deeper than the contemporary Palestinian struggle. But the point here is that solidarity is a political decision on how to resist and how to survive in our respective fights for freedom. And it's a solidarity movement that has been steadily growing. Earlier this year, activists from groups like Black Lives Matter, the Dream Defenders, and the Black Youth Project 100, among others, took a historic trip to the occupied West Bank in Israel. The purpose of the trip was for young black leaders to connect with Palestinians living under Israeli military occupation. So what are the parallels the two communities find in common? Here's what Detroit-based writer and activist Christian Davis Bailey, who co-wrote the poem in the video, told me. One of the biggest parallels I see between black and Palestinian people is that we're each fighting really large systems of racism, militarized control, and state control. And we also see that violence against us is justified at the same time that our protests are criminalized or demonized. And one of the on-the-ground campaigns between black and Palestinian solidarity groups targets G4S, a British security company that provides technology for American and Israeli prisons. Already they've seen major institutions like the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, the United Methodist Church, and Columbia University divest from G4S. So can joint solidarity campaigns ultimately lead to policy changes? When it comes to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, it feels like it's always the same story. 